Hi guys, I'm Hunter Cole, and today we're going to be talking about stress, in particular, your brain on stress. Now, what exactly is stress? Well, stress is an uncertainty with fear, and there are three types of stress. Good stress, which is short-term and rewarding. Tolerable stress, which is chronic but tolerable. Three, toxic stress, which is chronic but intolerable. Now, an important concept to know is allostasis versus homeostasis. Homeostasis is what you're probably already familiar with, which is your body keeping stability through constancy. However, allostasis is a different take. Basically, it's your body's ability to anticipate change and respond in advance to it, which is the prime method of stress. Now, in great quantities and in great durations of this can result in allostatic load, though, which is one of the results of chronic stress. In the brain, there are two pathways from the amygdala that mediate stress. One goes to the locus ceruleus, which is responsible for hypervigilance at the release of norepinephrine. And the second goes to the ventromedial hypothalamus, which activates the sympathetic nervous system, and the HPA axis, which ultimately releases glucocorticoids. Now we get into how your brain changes from chronic stress. Allostatic plasticity. The first area we're going to look at is the hippocampus. Now, a study by, on rats by Watanabe found that inducing stress in rats caused for high levels of corticosteroid, which is a glucocorticoid. And then in association with this, there was an atrophy of neurons, pyramidal neurons, in the CA3 region, which likely causes for trouble with memory. The next area is in the amygdala, which a study by Rainey on rats found that when Rats were injected with an agonist of glucocorticoids called urocortin that they caught that they exhibited anxiety like behavior and when they dissected them found that induced that it induced long term potentiation in the amygdala, which possibly leads to finding more things stressful and in greater intensities. The next area is in the prefrontal cortex, where a study by Wellman and the study on circu on cerquera on rats found that glucocorticoids cause for a reorganization of dendritic material, effectively shrinking it down, and another in the atrophy of neurons in the layer 2 of the medial prefrontal cortex, which probably leads to deficits in working memory. So this affects a lot of people in the United States. Chronic stress does, with average stress of American being reported as 5.6 out of 10, and 84% of Americans reporting an emotion tied to prolonged stress. And another, 80% of adults report the pandemic as a significant stress, which suggests that chronic stress is an epidemic right now. But there are some people that don't have the effects of allostatic load, which are called habituators. They have genes that help them out with it. But if you're not lucky enough to have those genes, you can exercise, you can socialize, and do mindfulness-based stress reduction which can induce plasticity to counteract the effects of allostasis. But ultimately, we should really get out of this pandemic to help everyone out. Anyways, that's all I have for you, and uh, have a good day. All right, bye.